All right, so I'm down in Rimini now, and just to give you guys some useful information, if you are trying to get to San Marino from Rimini, there is a bus that goes there, and just across from the central station here in Rimini, you have a place right here, a tabaqueria, that you can buy bus tickets for. They are five euros each way, so if you go there, you buy a bus ticket, they'll automatically, unless you say otherwise, they'll automatically give you the return ticket as well. So 10 euros round trip from Rimini to San Marino, and then they'll direct you to go down the street in front of the Hotel uh, Napolitano, and that is where the bus for San Marino is from. from San Marino. Not San Marino, Italy, just San Marino, as in the Republic of. Yes, it is surrounded by Italy, but it is its own country. So if you come and visit here, you technically can say that you visited another country besides Italy. San Marino is actually the world's oldest republic. It's been around since the year 301 AD, when a Christian stonemason fleeing persecution from the Roman Emperor at the time fled up here to Montitano, a community had formed after that, and it kind of became its own country. Italy did not become the modern unified state that exists today until the 19th century. San Marino, as a basically as an independent political entity, is sort of a leftover from the way things were before the existence of modern states in Europe. And one of the reasons why San Marino was able to retain its independence during the 19th century unification movement led by Giuseppe Garibaldi was kind of a way for Garibaldi to thank San Marino for helping shelter his troops during the push for unification during his time. And to this day, it retains its independence. San Marino is not a member of the EU, but it is recognized as an independent country by most countries in the world. It has a seat at the UN, and it does use the Euro, even though it's not officially in the Eurozone, it basically, the Euro is the currency here. So it's, it's kind of unofficially a Eurozone country as well. And even though it's not officially in the Schengen zone, it does have an open border with Italy, which is the only country that San Marino has a border with. So when you come up here with the bus from Rimini, or if you drive up here or whatnot, you don't have to stop for a border checkpoint. It's just driving up here as if it was just another town in the same country. But you always gotta remember, it's not the same country. There's a lot of really nice stone walls here and you can take a walk up to the top of the three peaks that exist here in San Marino. The Republic is basically centered around Mont Titano, uh, Mount Titan. And so you'll have really nice views of the countryside all around here and there's also a cable car to help you go up to the top if you want. So basically I'm just gonna spend the day here strolling around. six euros to get into here, which seems like it's worth it because it is a really cool looking tower that's been here since the 1200s. Cool looking castle, I should say. And the views up here should be pretty epic. Uh, all right, this kind of reminds me of the Saloniki a little bit, the way this goes up here.
So that's the second tower over there, and apparently it's closed. So I don't think it's going to be worth the effort to go up to there because it doesn't look like it's necessarily higher than the tower I'm at right here. So, you know, since I'm seeing this one, then, you know, I think that that should suffice because you'll get pretty much a similar kind of view as you'll get from up here at the first tower, which is right here. And apparently we can go even higher up to go see. Let's see what the highest point on this is that we can go to. And also, I'm finding that a lot of the things here in San Marino, despite the hills, are closer than I thought. I'm actually covering pretty much all the ground that I wanted to cover here much faster than I thought. So you definitely won't need to be in a rush when you are visiting San Marino. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. <laughs> okay. Uh, all, right. all right, let's see if me and my backpack will fit through here. <laughs> wow. Oh. All right. <laughs> it looks like just enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. There we go. <laughs> wow. All right, so that <laughs> that's what you have to that's what you have to climb to get up here. <laughs> and it's actually there's more. Okay. There's more, but that looks a little bit easier than that. See, he's having he's having an easier time because he doesn't have a backpack like me. So, let's see what's out here. All right, a uh, little bit of a better view of that first tower over there. All right, here we go. The top of the tower. Let's see, Ooh, let's start from this side. All right, yep, yeah, as, I, as I expected. No huge loss for that second tower being closed because we're basically as high as that tower is. So if you go to this one, you're not really, you don't really seem to be missing out too much from the other one. Looking out towards the east here, there is the Adriatic Sea way out there. Rimini, which has to be that right there on the coast, the more populated area there on the coast, which is where I came from today and where I'm going back to. And yeah, it, this is right on the edge of a cliff here. As you see, that goes straight down, all the way down to that road there. So it is very steeply up upon this mountain here. You can kind of see Piazza Publico down there, which is where we came up here from. Back to here on this side, looking towards the west, I believe. And then we just see the, the mountains, don't remember off the top of my name what they're called, but basically the mountains looking towards the inland part of Italy. So I actually would like to go back to the Palazzo Publico and see if we can take a look inside. And then that should pretty much wrap things up for San Marino. As I mentioned, it's pretty easy to visit here for an afternoon. It's a small place, but a place that is pretty cool to see. And it's also pretty cool to be able to say that, hey, you have went to another country while you're here. In, in Italy, you didn't just go to Italy, you went to San Marino as well, which is a different country, a completely independent country. So yeah, let's finish up our little tour here. Wow, it looks like there's even a national holiday for Abraham Lincoln here. 
They really like the guy here and they really appreciate that he recognized San Marino's independence back in the day. inside the Palazzo Publico here and I should have come here first before going to the tower because apparently the ticket for the tower also covers this as well. Thankfully I held on to it because he was able to scan it here and I didn't have to pay again. So luckily the six euros I paid there covered this as well. So as you would imagine the palace here looks very palatial. <laughs> it's a very cool place to see here in San Marino. Why is there a Lincoln Day here in San Marino? In 1861, uh, when it was made a speech in Washington, he heard about the existence of the Republic of San Marino that was given the birth, that was given the fr freedom uh, of people that they needed, uh, and they was grateful to know that. At the same time, the, the presidential here, they heard about what he did for this, when he cut the slaves, <laughs> and uh, they were both grateful to, for that. So mm -hmm. they decided to make the, the, uh, the actual government uh, and especially the, the Association of San Marino America Club here. Mm -hmm. They decided to, to make this special occasion for, for, for what happened in that time. Mm -hmm. So and uh, we decided to uh, uh, take it out from the from the museum, the, the, the boat letter that they mm. sent to each other. Uh, September 3rd, 301 mm. after Christ. Because the saint originally was uh, from the, the island of Croatia, the uh -huh. actual Croatia, that they call Rap, right. uh, Arbe, they call it. So with his friend Leo, they were uh, both a stone sculpture. Mm. And they escaped from there that time because they was chased by the Emperor Diocletiano. They, they want to kill them because they, they thought they were enemy of the state. So what happened that they escaped. San Marino, he start built with the, in a stone sculpture in his bed to sleep. And Leo, he remained on the other side of the mountain. Mm. And uh, years later, uh, San Marino became a saint. Uh, and. Uh, Right. make birth of this uh, republic. How is San Marino governed? Government, uh, the state, uh, uh, the, the election is every five years, but for the presidential is every six months, hmm. 1st of April and 1st of October. Okay. The Congress, uh, uh, members of the Congress, they are 60, right. and they elected uh, by the citizen. Right. The two uh, president they elected by internal by the 60s. Uh -huh. they, yeah, they decided ah, so it's to, two presidents. Okay. And uh, they can't. Uh, uh, they, they can be at the same time a president on the follow. Like I mean, when they finish the uh, from the first of uh, April to the first of October, they. They can't be elected once again. They have to wait three years. Uh -huh, okay. They have to wait. Like uh, there were many that uh, happened. That uh, like uh, the one who left uh, last uh, first of October. Mm. He was uh, elected at first uh, in 2009. Right. And then uh, he became a president for the second time uh, last uh, October. Right. So the so two presidents. I mean, so they are there. They, they the are equal. Power. They have the they same have power. The same power. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And when they have to decide for law, for many right. things, they have, you know, to say, okay, mm. let's do it like that. Mm. The follow Sunday after the election, mm. all the citizens from here, what they do, um, they, they decide to uh, make a request to the government. Mm. Like, in my town, I would like that uh, they gotta fix my church, the street, uh, the mm. school. And then what they do, they, they ask it to the other city to make the signature. 
and they bring to the government. So they take a look and say, okay, let's let's uh, do this thing. Okay, mm. let's you know um, fix the school at right. first, then the street, uh, and then the, the church. Uh, right. And they don't have too much time because six months is not enough. Right. But they try to do the best they can. Is there a reason why there's two presidents instead of one? Is there is there a reason why there's not just one that? Um, That's not only one, like the regular. One. Yeah, like why two? Yeah, they this things uh, is from the hmm. uh, twelve uh, uh, twelve fourteen. Hmm. They, they they decide to do that. Right. Because it, it, like that is more democratic. Uh-huh, you know. I see. Like that, like uh, the government uh, at last that we had uh, then two years ago was uh, much more part communism. Uh-huh, okay. So then uh, when uh, we had the, the last election, the, the democratic they back at the power. Right. So. Oh, interesting. Many yeah. Things change, change all the time. So sometimes you can. So sometimes you could get two presidents who are maybe they are of different ideologies or different. Uh, that must no, make thank, thank God that uh, you know they, when they decide to do things, uh, yeah, they, you know, they, no one uh, have to fight against yeah. the other. Well, and I would imagine because San Marino is not a, a very big place; it's uh, about thirty-three thousand or so uh, population. Yeah, so 30, everybody kind yeah, of yeah, thirty-two uh, around, around thirty-two or thirty-three thousand. Yeah, so people. everybody kind of knows because everybody. The last the last years we had. Uh, so many that they back from the big immigration uh-huh. after the Second World War. Mm. So what happened that many, like my parents, they left uh, here in the early of the 50, and they they went to the U.S. and other one to the Canada, mm. other one to South America, you know, right. Argentina, or Brazil, or uh, Australia, right. or Belgium, France, and like I said, uh, right last two, three years, so many that they're back here. Right, so also the population many, is... Many, many after the retirement also, you know. So the population so, has been going up. Yeah, because they kept the citizenship. They right. Kept. And, and of course, I mean, get, are people, are some people moving here who are not from here, who just, they, yeah, they even, like it here? Yeah, even from and, other country around the area. Yeah. Because um, if they want to become a citizen, they have to spend uh, 30 years here. Oh, working. 30. Uh, 30 wow. years here working. Wow, that's a long And time. Uh, we had also many that they became citizen after 30 years of living here. Right. Yeah. But someone here. could come live here if they're not from here and they're not a citizen, but I guess like if they wanted to come they, live here, yeah, they, they, they get like come, a permit. Yeah, they give it a, initially they give it a permission to stay right. as work, like uh, from three, six right. months. And uh, many, they get married with someone from here. Okay. Because years ago, um, was immediately the, the, the citizenship. Like uh, uh, someone from Italy or mm. the area that uh, was getting married right. with someone from here, getting the, the citizen, you know, right. at the same time. But then happened that uh, there were many from the east of Europe, you know, many women uh, that uh, taking advantage. They, d- they taken advantage because they ask to to work for old people, right. and uh, you know, the, the, the intent was only to get the citizenship. And right, so. it's right. Like so it's then not like the, a real the government marriage. here no. said, "We better watch out because it's not fair to do sure. that." You know, and then they decide to change the law. Right. So that's, that's why that. Uh, mm. Right now, it's not easy to get the citizenship mm-hmm. because you have to wait 30 years. Right. So, you know. Interesting. You are in uniform. Um, so, do you have a, a title or a, a rank or uh, you know? Uh, right now, yeah, I'm sergeant. You're a sergeant. I'm a sergeant. Okay. Yes, I have 35 and a half years of uh, service because we have uh, the military rank. So, mm-hmm. corporal, major corporal, uh, sergeant. Uh, uh, Mayor Sergeant, mm. Captain. No matter that we don't have army, but just only voluntary. Right. It's, uh, you know, for who come in here to visit uh, the place. Uh, right. Uh, they they don't have not to worry about. Thank you very much, Sergeant. It was very nice to speak with you. So that was quite a cool visit to the Palazzo Publico. Learned a lot of great information about 
this little country did not expect to get to interview a sergeant about San Marino, so that was really cool. Since I've pretty much seen what there is to see here, to show you guys, at least the main things. There's always more, but those are the main things to see here. One last thing I would like to do before leaving, you can go to the tourism office and get your passport stamped. It's obviously not mandatory. The border is open with Italy here, but if you want, just for a little cheesy tourist thing, you can go and get your passport stamped. So you can show on your passport that you went to San Marino, to the Republic of San Marino, the oldest Republic still in existence. So just walking back now to where the bus to Rimini can be found. It's not too far away from the Francesco door or the Francesco entryway, I guess you can call it. Uh, and actually, I think on a typical day, the bus does stop a little bit closer to the historic center, but it's a little further away because on this particular day that I'm here, there's some kind of running event that's going on that they're preparing for later today. So it's a little further down, but still only we're talking like not even 10 minutes and it's slightly downhill after you get through the Francesco door anyway. So not too bad, but I'm gonna leave it at this as I head back to Rimini, nice little excursion up to San Marino, a new country that I haven't been to before. Make sure you've subscribed to Global Nico so that you can stay tuned for the next video from the next place, which is also in a new country that I have never been to before, neither with you guys or before. I started Global Nico, so I'm very excited to travel there and to show you guys this place. Make sure you put a like on this particular video here that you're watching, and above all, make sure to take care and travel better.